Hello, everyone. My name is Moe Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head to IncomeInvestors.com, or you can find the link to the website in the description below. Interest rate cuts are coming. Granted, the Fed probably won't start cutting interest rate when it meets at the end of July, but Wall Street is 100% certain that Fed will announce its first 25 basis point cut in September. That's expected to be just the beginning too, with at least one more rate cut coming before the end of the year and several more cuts expected in 2025. Stocks are already at record levels, but upcoming rate cuts are ramping up investors' optimism, which should help the broader market hit fresh highs. And why the enthusiasm? The unemployment rate remains low at 4.1%. Inflation has slowed down to 2.7% in June, and the labor market continues to cool. This data suggests that things are going in the right direction, and the Fed will begin cutting interest rates soon. However, it's important to understand that cutting interest rates too quickly could reignite inflation. But should the Fed lower rates and achieve the much lauded soft landing, stocks could rip higher. History, though, is on the side of the bulls. Going back 40 years, stocks typically rally leading up to the first cut, consolidate for one or two more months after the interest rate cut, then trend higher after recession has been avoided. And with this, you have to ask which defensive stocks have performed best in this scenario. And the list is healthcare, utilities, and consumer staples. With interest rates poised to fall, real estate investment trusts should also be on investors' radar. One great read that is also defensive play is Omega Healthcare Investors. They're traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol OHI. It's a triple net equity REIT with a portfolio of senior care centers, skilled nursing, and assisted living facilities. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. Yeah, you're correct. Omega Healthcare is the largest skilled nursing facility uh, focused REIT. The company's 9.9 .9 billion real estate portfolio includes 866 facilities in the U.S. and United Kingdom. Its 73 operators are responsible for something like 84,390 beds. Now, uh, while Omega Healthcare is a great company, healthcare wasn't the best industry to actually be in during the 2020 health crisis. The healthcare industry, and especially nursing homes and care facilities, took a big hit in 2020, and Omega was no exception. Healthcare facilities like Omega Healthcare implemented new and evolving protocols to limit the spread of the pandemic. Still, between February 2020 and January 2021, occupancy actually declined by like 13%. Now, on the plus side, occupancy rates are up 9% from those January 2021 lows to 79.6%. And Omega has also collected roughly 91% of its first quarter 2024 contractual rent and mortgage payments from its operators. Now, industry tailwinds suggest those occupancy rates will climb significantly higher over the coming years. Aging baby boomers are expected to drive a multi-decade increase in demand for large skilled nursing facilities. Like over the next 20 years alone, the number of adults aged 65 years of age and over is projected to increase 44%. Its first quarter results exceeded expectations. Yeah, for the first quarter ended March 31st, 2024, Omega announced that net income almost doubled to $69 million or 27 cents per share. And their REIT funds from operation increased 5% to $153 million or 60 cents per share, while adjusted funds from operation climbed respectable 10% to $176 million or 68 cents per share. Now, for income investors, the all-important funds available for distribution, or FAD, were up 10% at $168 million, or $0.66 cents per share. And a strong adjusted fund from operation and funds available for distribution helped it maintain a quarterly dividend payout of $0.67 cents per share. Omega Healthcare may not be at 100% with its contractual rent or occupancy from its operators, but it's still generating solid earnings. And this has allowed Omega to maintain its dividend payout at, you know, it's 67 cents per share per quarter, or that works out to $2.68 annually since 2020. Now, current prices, this translates into a, you know, pretty healthy forward dividend yield of 7.25%. And I see that Omega Healthcare stock is outpacing the S&P 500. Yeah, improving financial results and looming interest rate cuts have been helping energize Omega's stock. On July 24th, OHI stock hit actually a new record intraday high of $37.13. Now, if history is any indicator, 
this could be just the beginning, currently trading um, at that uh, record levels. OHI stock is up, as I was recording, 35% over the last six months, around 26.5% year to date, and uh, 23% over the last 12 months. Now, for faithful readers of IncomeInvestor.com, the mega stock is also up uh, more than 23% since we last looked at this company back in March. John, thank you so much for your analysis. Just to recap, Omega Healthcare Investor Inc. is a healthcare read that prior to the healthcare crisis of 2020 was trading at record levels. It has mostly recovered from woes of 2020 health crisis and continues to report improving occupancy rate, rent collections, and earnings. Operations are improving, state and federal support remain solid, interest rates are set to fall, and favorable demographic headwinds bodes well for Omega's earnings, share price, and reliable and high yield dividend. That's it for today. And make sure to go to incomeinvestors.com now to get our free special report on three income stocks to own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to incomeinvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.